Hello, my name is Andy Grant. I'm a writer, actor, web guru, husband, entrepreneur, award-winning short filmmaker, extensive world traveler. <laughs> you know, I've got quite a fantastic life. I've also tried to kill myself more times than I can count. Well, I count the real attempts. The ones that landed me in mental hospitals, that's five. Turns out I'm not alone. Over one million people die from suicide each year. That's greater than the world total of war and homicide combined. That's insane that more people are dying by suicide than war and homicide combined. In the US alone, someone dies by suicide every 16 minutes. An attempt is made every minute, every day, every year. Last summer, I attended a self-help seminar in San Diego, California. During one particular exercise, I was wandering around San Diego alone, kind of dressed in rags like I was homeless. I won't go into why, that's a whole other story. I took a seat in a park to ponder just what the heck I was supposed to be getting out of this experience. And I'm looking around and I, I notice there's this big outdoor mall across the street. And up on the third level, this woman catches my eye. She's a blonde with a white top. What made her stand out was because she was in front of the balcony railing. And I thought, oh, there must be some sort of stunt show about to happen. This will be cool. I couldn't see the bottom of the, of the mall area, so I thought there must be an air mattress or a pool of water she's going to jump into. So I sat back to watch. And she put her arms out, and she just fell forward. And I was struck by the silence. There were no cheers, no clapping, no woohoos. I thought, what a lame crowd this is. And then there was this horrible sound. Something slamming against sheet metal that just seemed to reverberate forever. And I thought, well, that stunt didn't go very well. But it still didn't dawn on me what had really happened. Until the police cars pulled up. <sighs> then it hits me, this is no accident. I rush across the street, and without even meaning to, I find myself just a few feet away from the woman. I recognize the blonde here, the white blouse. But there's no air mattress, there's no pool of water. There's just a pool of blood. And her limbs are just going in directions that limbs aren't meant to go in. The police come up and they say, move along, there's nothing to see here. I say, I saw her jump. And the cop's eyes light up. I said, what did you say? I said, I saw her jump. He says that they were trying to decide whether this was an accident or not. And I was like, no, it was no accident. So I give the police my full statement, and then the mall security comes, I give them a full statement, and I'm done with them. I'm now, their office was up on the third level, the level that the woman jumped from. And it's like some sort of muck magnet, I'm being drawn to that spot that she jumped from. And I was scared, because I didn't know what was going to happen when I got there. I get there and I look down, and I see the blood stains already been cleaned up, and the t-shirt the kiosk that she landed on is already open for business, selling I Love San Diego t-shirts to the tourists again. And I'm just struck by how fast life moves on. And I looked around at the the beautiful weather and the sun and feel the warmth and even though I'm literally dressed in rags, I could feel all the abundance, all the life around me and I felt good. I couldn't figure out why anyone would try to kill themselves on a day like this. I couldn't figure out why anyone would try to kill themselves at all. And then it really struck me. I start to tremble. I can't even connect with ever wanting to kill myself. It's like those feelings were in somebody else. I, I can't find them. I start to cry. But these weren't tears of depression or sadness that I was used to. These were tears of joy. These were tears of gratitude for being alive. It was huge. So now, it is my mission to help as many pain souls realize they, too, can realize how magnificent life is meant to be. We all have a purpose. And the joy of life is discovering what that might be, because it's up to us. It's up to you to decide what your purpose is. I survived all those suicide attempts, all those tormenting thoughts, and you can too. In fact, you can do better than survive. I want you to thrive. I want you to feel how great life is meant to be. We're all here for a purpose, and the fun is just finding what that purpose is for each of us. But I guarantee you, nobody's purpose is to be here and suffer until they end their life. So please, do me a favor. If any of you are feeling down, so distressed, self-destructive, tell someone. Call a friend, call a family member, call, call a stranger, contact me. If you don't think you have someone to talk to, find me. I'll talk to you. Because I don't want to go through an experience like that again. 
but I don't want you to either. There's no victory in going it alone. Be good to yourself.